correspondent Reza Saya is in the Iranian capital, Tehran, and we can speak to him now. Uh, Reza, what's the latest on these protests? Uh, these protests have continued for seven consecutive nights, and they have turned deadly, according to government officials. At least three people have been killed. Witnesses in the region report the death toll to be more. As it is often the case here in Iran, it's very difficult to independently verify how many people have been killed and what caused their uh, death. One, because of a, a lack of access to the region, and two, because of the conflicting reports uh, coming from alleged witnesses and government officials. According to those government officials, uh, two protesters were shot and killed earlier this week, uh, two young men. Uh, another protester was hit by a car and killed overnight Tuesday. This according uh, to another government uh, official. All of these incidents taking place in Khuzestan province. This is a very oil-rich but drought-ridden and very hot region in southwestern Iran, bordering Iraq and the Persian Gulf. It has suffered through what some call the worst drought in 50 years. There's a lack of drinking water. There have been power cuts. Uh, add to that Iran's battered economy, the unemployment, the inflation, and you have a lot of angry and frustrated people. Over the past few days, we've seen a number of amateur videos posted online showing the protests turning violence, uh, protesters throwing rocks, setting fire uh, to tires. We've also seen in those videos security forces firing their weapons. It's not clear what they're aiming at, but alleged witnesses say it's the, those security forces uh, who killed those two protesters earlier this week. Uh, but government officials say no, it was the protesters themselves who shot and killed uh, those two men. Uh, that's a claim that a lot of people who mistrust the, the Iranian government simply don't buy. Uh, one thing is clear, the protests are continuing. A lot of people anxious to see if it continues again tonight.